Torture Talk. All right, man, let's get to it. All right, so today I wanna to talk about, I wanna talk about Joe Buttons. All right, so let me just put this out there. Joe Buttons is my favorite rapper of all time. Favorite rapper of all time. He's my number one rapper of all time. He has, to me, he has uh, a lot of uh, music that hit me kind of hard and I don't really see him having not too many whack tracks or tracks I would think were weak. Uh, most of the tracks I think he has is epic uh, for the most part. He's a safe player when it comes to hip hop and his music. He don't really step out the box, but he, he's very, very good at what he did. With that being said, uh, him as a blogger, I used to be on board with Joe Buttons. He was one of those people to me that I look to as a person that would change the narrative of what's going on in today's hip hop climate or or whatever you want to call it. But as the time go on, I remember he said one day, he said, I didn't, I didn't change, you did. And I'm starting to think that that's not true. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that Joe Buttons should be the way he was all the time. You know what I'm saying? But now that you get to a certain extent in your career when it comes to this, you st I start to notice that people have these political connects and they don't really want to uh, infringe on that. Even though Joe Buttons made it all this way without advertisement, for, for the most part, because I've seen him, he advertised a little bit. But for the most part, he made it this whole way without without any advertisers or sponsors. And then he got a Spotify deal. He was on Complex, but he got a Spotify deal. We ain't gonna talk about everyday struggle. Let's just talk about this. So, my issue with Joe Buttons now is he just goes along with the narrative and he they don't really fact check so the joe Biden podcast to me is an excellent podcast of uh diversity i should say so you got rory maul parks joe two white boys two black guys very good perspective on even though i don't like their taste in music most of the time most of the time their taste in music to me is terrible now i'm not saying that uh 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 when i say terrible i'm not saying like uh terrible as in like like uh these artists are whack i think that some of them songs that they pick from these artists is not that good but it is what it is so let's get into joe buttons real quick so recently joe buttons did a podcast where he said that people in hip hop doesn't care if Logic retires. See, now here's my issue with Joe Buttons, right? See, Joe Buttons is one of those rappers that they call the internet rapper, which I don't understand that because the internet, the internet, there's people on the internet. So in turn, Joe Button says nobody cares about Logic, but let's, let's break that down. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a Logic fan at all. I think he's a clone of other rappers. But I have to defend him on this because I'm one of those type of people who speaks the truth. I'm not going to get on here and just tell you something you want to hear. Even though I don't like Logic, I'm going to have to tell you the truth. And Joe, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're totally wrong. When you say that people don't care about Logic, you're wrong. At one point, Logic was the only rapper who was selling albums. So you're wrong. You're wrong when you say stuff like, oh, nobody cares about Logic. It's because you don't care about Logic. If you don't care about Logic, then say, I don't care about Logic. But don't say, don't try to put it on everybody in hip hop because number one, you have a following. So when you tell your following something, they automatically believe that. They automatically believe what you're saying. 
because you were telling people that he doesn't have nobody cares that he is nobody cares that he's retiring well people do care because he has a lot of fans why you don't say that why you don't say his fans care about him retiring i don't care about him retiring because you want to paint this narrative that nobody cares about logic because you have a problem with logic for some odd reason i don't know why you have a problem with logic i don't know why and it sounds like it's personal because you feel as though even though logic is half black, you feel as though he shouldn't ha be able to talk about his black side, which is retarded to me. I don't understand that. How is it that y'all feel like a man who's half black can't talk about his black side? He has black people in his family. Oh, it doesn't sound genuine. Man, shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Because if we break it down, all of us to a certain extent, got some type of some something in us, white, black, Asian, whatever. So let's just be clear. Nobody's pure. Nobody's bloodline is pure. It's just crazy to me how 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 you get on here and 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 demonize this dude, and you don't even like it. You don't even break down his music or go into his music. You just automatically write somebody off. It's like it's like you. It's like you go against the cancel culture, but then you supporting it at the same time. It's like, this is why I say like, certain bloggers, they shouldn't speak on certain things. So let's get into the whole Gilly thing and Gilly saying all lives matter and Joe and them having a problem with it. Here's my thing, man. Gilly has his own opinion. He has, a, he's, he clearly put out there the reason why he said that. So why do y'all have a problem with it? He said that he had he, his reason why. That's, you, stop. I don't understand why people are so combative with other people's opinions. Now, again, you gotta have some type of logic behind, no pun intended, some logic behind what you're saying. So I get it that you have a problem with Gilly saying that or you feel some type of way or whatever. But still in all, that's Gilly's opinion. It's the same thing when it comes down to your opinion about Black Lives Matter. And I, didn't, I don't wanna turn this into a Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter thing. I don't, because it, it is what it is. But I, I, you gotta have some type of evidence to support why something is. I get the the opinion thing. So Joe, if you saying you you uh, uh, the thing about logic, he's trash. He's trash. I don't. I hate logic. Blah 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 blah. But my thing is like, you don't know. It, it, you make it sound like you know this dude personally, and like y'all are connected somehow, and he did you dirty or something. You you get so passionate when it comes to his music, and you don't even listen to it. That makes no sense to me. It's like me saying. I hated a movie and I never even seen the movie. Why well, didn't even I'm not it listen, I hate or I can hate the actor. But somebody could say, oh, uh Joaquin Phoenix, he has a lot of classic movies. I might could say I hate Joaquin Phoenix. I hate Joaquin Phoenix. I would never watch. But then he comes out with a movie that's classic and you say it's trash because you don't like him as an actor. The same thing with logic. You don't like him as a rapper, but you'll say it's, it's, it's his. You acknowledge that he can rap and he has good flows and he can rap. But you think he's trash as a rapper because he talks about his black side. And listen, man, torture talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy to me, man. You can have your own opinion, but at least come with some type of evidence of why. You just automatically demonize this young man because you don't like him and what he stand for. Like, okay, but it, it, you gotta understand, you, you, came from, you came from the entertainment world, you know what it is. I don't understand how you go against the same people that you was protecting in the beginning. Now all of a sudden, now that don't matter. Come on, man.